Vlogmas day four. Hey friends, welcome back to my sewing room. My name is Becca and in today's video, we're gonna open the Open Gates quilt box for December, 2021. I'm gonna do my advent calendars and I'm not gonna give you a garage update because I don't really have one to give you. So let's dive into our unboxing and then I'll get to our mystery packages from Cotton Cuts and Miss Jenny Doan from Missouri Star. This is what the box looks like pretty standard box and inside are all of our goodies the thing that i love about the open gates quilt box is monique hand picks these items and she creates two projects for you you have a main project and then a quick sew project then you usually have a notion I think a spool of thread and then either a bonus fat quarter or a bonus pattern that she wrote herself let's see what she sent to us for december so in case you missed it, here's your sneak peek of the inside of the box. She even has a little cute Christmas sticker on it. We have our letter that tells us about all the contents inside. Oh, very cool. We're going to make some Holiday Lane stockings in a wine bag with a gift tag. And then we have our notion of the month, a spool of thread, and a bonus fat quarter this month. Sweet. Aw, Monique sent me a Christmas card in my box. Let me show you what it looks like. This is a close-up of the outside of the Christmas card, and the inside is just a greeting that says, Merry Christmas, your friend Monique. Thank you so much. This is my first Christmas card in my new home. I'm super excited to have this. Thank you, Monique. I also got a pen in my box that says open gate quilts on it right there. Maybe you can see it. And I'm just wondering if you get this box, did you get one of these really cool pens as well? Looks like it's a ballpoint pen and it's got a bit of weight to it. Kind of neat. Okay, now let me show you the real reason we get a quilting box from Monique. The first thing I'm gonna show you is the notion of the month. The notion of the month is a little stiletto thing that's called that purple thing. This is what it looks like close up. And the idea here is that you can use this tool as a stiletto when you're sewing. You can use the tip of it to puck out your corners when you're making bags or pillowcases. This top up here, I actually learned in a previous video that I posted, is actually exactly a quarter of an inch, so you can use it to measure your seams. And this slit on the side right here, you can use to help thread elastic and other fun pieces of uh, fabric or elastic through casing. So this is like a four in one or maybe even five in one tool. It's got a ton of uses. These are very affordable little notions. And I usually keep several of them around my room because they always come up missing, but they're super handy. So we got a purple thing. I know I have a couple. I know they're in boxes somewhere. So kind of happy to have this. We also have a small spool of thread. Our spool of thread is from Orifil. It is color number 2600, which is a dove gray color. It's 100% cotton, 50 weight thread. This does beautifully for piecing and it's just light enough that it can almost read as a white or a neutral color, but it's dark enough and pigmented enough that you can actually do just a little bit of quilting with it and your stitching will pop a little bit better than maybe white on white. Our bonus fat quarter is from Henry Glass Fabrics and this is that fat quarter. Taking it to the close-up view down here, this is what the print looks like. It works, I think, really well as a blender. Not sure what I'm gonna do with this, but I'm gonna put it in my stash and maybe one day I will have a use for it. Really cool print, I like it. All right, now let's show you the projects. The first project that we got, the small project, is our wine bag and gift tag set. It'll measure six by 16 inches, and the tag will be two by four inches. The nice thing that I like about her projects is she's put all of the items that you need for the project right inside this little cellophane bag. She has a lovely sticker on it that tells you exactly what you're gonna make with it. And when you flip this over, you have a photograph of the project finished so you can get an idea of what that's gonna look like when you're done. And then behind this picture, there is actually a sheet of instructions. It has your pattern in it. So if I'm not ready to make this right now or I wanna gift 
gift it to a friend or give it in a giveaway. The nice thing is, is I can just keep this little cellophane package, set it aside, put it in my project stash or my giveaway box. And when I'm ready to pass it forward, pay it forward, or just sew it up for myself, I don't need to hunt for everything. Everything I need is right here in this package. The small projects are usually things that you can whip up in about 10, 15 minutes if you're really diligent with your time, sometimes less, maybe a little bit more. The main project is a little bit more time consuming, but still something that you should be able to get done within that month. So you don't feel like you're overwhelmed taking on a queen size quilt every month. The next thing that we have is a stocking. This is called the Holiday Lane Stocking. And as you can see from the view down here, this will measure 12 inches. Is that right? Yep. 12 inches by 19 inches. And these are all of the fabrics that will be used in that lovely stocking. Lots of reds and silvers and whites. And just like the other package, if I flip this around and show you on the back, you'll have a picture that'll show you what those stockings look like. You can see it right there. She's got them hung by her fireplace. And then behind the picture is my pattern and sheet of instructions. And all of the fabric is folded super nicely in here. So I don't even have to look at the back if I don't want to. I can see what the project is going to kind of look like by looking at how she has the fabric folded. I'm guessing that she probably spends a lot of time just packaging her projects like this. I think this is really cool. Same thing with the main project. This is really a kit. Everything that I need for this project is all inside of here, including even some red, white, and silver twine that I can see at the back of the package. This is a quilty box that I really enjoy getting, even if I don't make both of the projects each month. I love having the projects all curated, bundled together, ready to go either for myself to complete or maybe a friend that's looking for a quick sew or a project to do. So I'm really excited that she's continuing to make these boxes. If this is something that you are excited about and you want to check out, there will be a link in the first comment down below this video. You can hop over to the Open Gates Quilt Shop website, find out all the information for how to sign up, how much it'll cost, all that wonderful stuff. Just let Monique know that Sobeka sent you her way. All right, now it's time to dive into our advent calendars. I've got my two advent packages. Let's start with cotton cuts first. The cotton cuts package has a sticker on it that says create something beautiful. And inside we have two patterns written by Sheila Christensen. In case you don't know, Sheila Christensen is the pattern designer behind the infamous puzzle mystery quilt over at Cotton Cuts. Let's take a look at what these look like. The first pattern is called a Mini Wonders Runner. This is what it'll look like. And on the back side, you can get a better idea of what that runner really looks like. And you get a list of all of your projects. The patterns that Sheila writes for the puzzle mystery quilt are really easy to follow. So I feel like the instructions for these will be easy to follow as well. And this mini wonders runner will measure 18 and a half inches by 48 inches. So it'll be a good size table runner. The next pattern is for one called garden party. And this quilt will measure 90 inches by 98 inches. So it'll be a good size quilt. And on the back, you can see what the quilt top looks like, have a list of your materials. And then of course, inside you'll have all of your instructions written by Sheila herself. I don't think these are patterns that I have seen in a store anywhere, so I'm really excited to have them. Now it's time to see what Missouri Star is sending to us. Here is our day four package. It does feel a little light. Wonder if it's another sewing notion. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, kind of excited about this one. This is definitely something that every quilter can use. We have a package of Schmetz Universal 9014 needles. I don't always use universal needles, but when I need a good, strong, heavy duty needle, I'll go for a universal 9014. These are great for doing things like rope bowls. So kind of excited to have this and Usually when I buy needles, I do buy Schmetz. So this is even the brand that I like. And then we also have a machine needle threader. 
and I'm not really sure how to use this, but the idea here is that you can use this contraption to actually thread the eye of your needle. So cool, we've got two things that go together, a package of needles and something to thread them. That's really neat. These needles I do love, it's the brand that I like. This needle threader probably won't use because my machine actually does thread the needle for me automatically, but I know there are plenty of machines out there that do a partial assist or no assist at all, and this tool probably would come in really handy for those. That's everything for Vlogmas on day four. It's been a blast posting these videos every day. I hope you'll subscribe and come on back tomorrow to check out what I got going in Vlogmas day five. I'll see you guys all then. Bye.